The general process for creating new cards is the same no matter what card type you're willing to add. Uh, and there are a couple of ways that you can go about doing it. I'll show you first a relatively quick way and then second the way that I tend to do it um, which is going through the browse view. So first off we're in the deck view. I'm going to select a particular deck and it's going to take me to the study page um, which I've got no cards to study in this instance but I can go up to the top of the screen and click add. That's going to bring up an add pop-up which would enable me then to choose things like the card type. Um, the deck should actually be selected for me, so I'm wanting to add this card to subdeck one. And then I have fields relating to the card type, which I can then fill in. So that's the first way. The way that I prefer is to instead go into the browse view and along the left hand side to go down and select the, uh, the card subset view for the deck that I'm adding cards to at the moment. So I've selected sub, sub deck one, and I'm, I've got no cards in that. And so what I'm gonna then do is click add, which brings me the add card pop-up. I'm gonna make sure in the deck that the correct deck that I'm adding this card to is selected, and that the card type is correct. And then I'll go through and fill in my card. Now why do I prefer this way? Well, once we go through and start making some cards, you'll see that if I was to click Add, um, it would present me then with um, another Add card pop-up. So in other words, it keeps a bunch of information there, but in the background, it's adding the cards to this list for subject one. So it makes it relatively easy to pop back and forth between the Add pop-up and your browser view to see how many cards you have, um, or if you want to copy information from one card to another. Um, so it'll, it'll become more evident as we go through why I prefer this particular method of adding cards.